Uh, good afternoon. Today we're going to go through the steps required to install a network license manager on Windows. First, you want to run this LM Tools utility, and that is going to give you the server's information. You click on System Settings, and you should get one or two IP addresses and a disk volume serial number. So we can lock to the first IP address like that. So you want to copy that, paste it, and send it in an email to Artwork. You should receive back from Artwork an email containing your license codes in the form of uh, either a file or in the text of the email. You'll notice there's three basic components. The first is a server line. The second is a vendor line. And then there's going to be one or more what we call feature lines which authorize a particular program or feature. Next, we're going to create a directory. I called it cflexlm. And we're going to copy the contents of the flexlm package.zip file that you downloaded from Artworks uh, website. I'm going to copy them into this directory. And let's see what we have here. Artwork.exe is what we call the vendor daemon. License.dat is a file that's going to contain all of our license codes that we got via email. LMGRD is the actual license manager. It's uh, going to be installed as a service. LM Tools is our utility for configuring, starting, stopping, and uh, examining the license server. This is the package that it came in that I downloaded. And LM Util is kind of a wrapper around LM Tools. It gives you the nice graphical interface. The first thing we have to do is to customize this license.dat file for our particular installation. So you can see that I've copied the license codes as received from artwork and now I've got to make a few changes. The first change is to put the actual name of the license server there. In this particular box it's ASMSC44. The second to this line is to define a port on which this license server is going to listen for requests. This is a TCP IP port and it can be a very large range. I prefer to use a 1701 but you will have your own choices. And now the other thing that we have to do is put the path to the daemon and since we created a directory called cflexlm then this would just be artwork.exe. So what will happen is this line will say this is the name of the daemon and this is how you find it and execute it. So we'll just save this. All right, now that we've customized our license file, we're going to use LM Tools to install it as a service. You need to be administrator to do this, so I'm going to right click and say run as administrator. And now we'll go to config services. We're going to call this artwork license server. That'll make it easy to identify in the service list. Here we'll click on the path to the LMGRD like it asks us. Here we'll click on the path to license.dat and here we'll type in a name for the log file and we want to use Windows services and we want to start the server at power up. So when we've got all this set up we click save service and it's been saved. Now it hasn't been started yet but I think we can go here now and we can click start server and it tells me server start successful. Now the next thing that I want to do is I want to set up a environment variable and I can set it as a user variable or a system. I'll set it as a system. And the name of that variable is artwork license file, uppercase. And in this particular case, I'm going to point to port 1701 at ASMSC44. Any application that starts up will read this variable and then it will use this to know where to request a license from. And every client that you install the software on should have this variable set to the point to the license manager. If you go into your computer management services, you should now see a service called Artwork License Server. It should be started and it should be on automatic. When this machine gets rebooted, this will start up automatically. You also use the LM tools to check your server status. Check this box here and now go to service status and perform status inquiry. It should tell you there's the license server status and you can see that the it's up and it's running version 11.3 and you can see that the vendors also up artwork and here are the different products that have been licensed. It tells you the product ID 
how many licenses are available, how many are in use. So you can see that we've got one of each type and none of them are in use at this point in time. So basically once you've seen that report, you know that the license manager is working and you can now move on to the client machines and install the software with uh, floating license. Thank you.